Hello my hard working students and welcome back to my channel. This is your online teacher Roxana and we are back with another video. Today we are going to learn about adding and subtracting negative numbers. Basically they're called directed numbers but most of you don't know that so I thought if you're gonna search for it you're gonna look for negative numbers probably so that's why I call them negatives but also we're gonna work with positives and negatives as well. Um, this is the place for you if you struggle with math, if you need things to be broken down for you, if you learn better, if it's visually explained. This lesson has about three activities, easy, medium, and then the plenary, which is like an open-end question where you can write as many examples as you like. So let's get started. On the first activity, you see here... You can look at the values on the map and you can think about temperatures and things. Okay, so take a few minutes, have a look at this and see what you can come up with. The purpose of this is to see how much you know so far. And if you do this wrong, there's no issue whatsoever. You're going to see that at the end you can go back to this question and you're going to be able to do it right. gonna quickly show you what to do here it says one night the temperature in Plymouth is one degree Celsius and the temperature in Newcastle is negative three degrees how cold is Newcastle how much colder is Newcastle than Plymouth so if you go from if you imagine a number line and you go on the number line from a one you go down how many degrees do you go down to get to minus three that would be about four yeah so you would have it like that and you go from one and you go this is one minus one minus two minus three minus four so you would go okay and you get to negative three so you went down four yeah so there's four degrees different that's how you can tell which degree has the highest temperature? That would be London. Which degree has the lowest temperature? That would be Belfast. What is the difference in temperature between York and London? York is negative two, London is three. So that would be from a three. Yeah, that's a two, that's a three. So from three to a negative 4 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That would be 7 degrees, okay? So that would be 7 degrees, okay? So let's see. Now let me show you how to do these questions. You can use the number line method, okay? This is a visual method that shows you how to add numbers that are positive with numbers that are negative or negative with negative okay so first thing you do if you want to use the number line is you have to plot this first number okay so we plot the first number means we just circle it and you look it up on the on the number line and i chose it as a vertical number line because it's easier to remember that if the first number after this is negative you go down yeah, so negative means you go down the number line and positive means you go up the number line. So you start at three and then you go two units down. One, two. So that should give you one. Then if you look at this question, you have a negative three. You start at negative three and you have to go two units up. Yeah, so plus means up. One, two. So it means this should give you a negative one. Then we start at negative 2. I'm just going to take a different color. Negative 2 is here. And if you start at negative 2 and you go 2 units down, you are going to end up at negative 4. Okay? 
We can also see here that if two numbers are both negative, you're actually putting them together. Okay, you can imagine it as two negative units and another two negative units. So altogether, you have four negative units. But if you have two positive units and two negative units, you can't just say you have four units because a plus with a minus are going to cancel each other. Yeah, imagine a, a, a one and a minus one. Yeah, or a seven and a minus seven. Basically, how much is seven minus seven? Is zero. How much is one minus one? Is zero. Okay, so when you have units that are positive, with units that are negative, they cancel each other. So that's how you do it. In here, you start at negative four and you go three units up. One, two, three. Or if you want to think about this in terms of positives and negatives, you have four negative units and you have three positive units. So the three positive are going to cancel three negatives and you only have one unit left, which is a negative unit. Okay, either way you want to do this uh, activity is going to work. So here is the activity you need to work on. Now I need you to pause the video and try to do some of this work. You can do your own number line somewhere or you can use your own uh, pluses and minus to, to do it, okay? So the answers for this section are as follow. You can mark them here. If there's anything you're not sure about, you can feel free to write in the comments and I am more than happy to answer, maybe explain again. Or you can also watch other videos of other people explaining this if you want to see different methods, okay? Because everyone has their own style. And then you can come back here and you can try the exercises again. Okay, so those were the answers. Here is another question. So these ones are kind of medium level because you need to do them in steps, okay? So that was kind of easy. So this is medium, let's see. So first thing you need to do is the first two. Three plus five is eight, and then you do eight minus four. Yeah, and that gives you four. Obviously, you don't need to know any negative numbers here. Pause the video and start doing this now, or you can have a look at a few more examples. I'm just going to do this one and this one, and then I'm going to let you work on it. Then I'll see, I'll show you the answers. Okay, so a positive 5 and a negative 8. If you look at these two numbers, the positive units are less than the negative units, right? You have 8 negatives and you have 5 positives, so when you put them together, they're actually not going to be added because they're different. If they're different, you basically have to subtract them. But how much are you going to have left then? Well, because this 8 is bigger, yeah, the number of negative units is more, you're going to have 3 negative units. And then you put the minus here, and you have 3 negatives and another one that's 4 negative units, yeah? A negative 4, basically. And here as well. Here, you see how you take away a 10 from a 7. Obviously, this is not going to give you a positive answer. 7 positive units are going to cancel from here. 7 negative units. So you're going to be left with 3 negative units. Yeah. Then you copy the 1. And then when you put these together, this unit that is positive can cancel 1 negative from here. If you think about it like that. Now you can pause the video and do all of this work by yourself, maybe even the ones that I showed you now.
and I'm back let's have a look at the answers here we go I think these are the answers write down five subtractions that have an answer of two you must use at least one negative number per calculation yeah so what I want to see here is negative five for example if you have negative five units how many do you need to have to end up with two positives well obviously you need the you need the five positive units to cancel this out and then you need an extra two positive units so you need five positives with another two positives so you need seven positive units to give you a two okay i'm only showing you this because basically you can write an infinity of equations so if you write all of these operations there is no answer for this activity because you can write an infinite number if you do minus 9 you have to do plus 11 okay you can do it like that and that gives you 2 if you do a positive 6 you have to take away a 4 you can also swap these numbers around you can do a negative 4 plus a 6 okay because this 6 is positive because if it doesn't have anything in front of it, it means it's positive. So you can put it after the 4. You say, I have a negative 4 and a positive 6. And here you had a positive 6 and a negative 4, which is the same thing. It's called um, commutativity. It means you can swap them around. And you can do that with multiplication as well. It doesn't work with subtraction and division, though. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a, have a go at this one and then... You can write them in the comment section and then maybe people can reply and tell you if they're correct. Okay, we can do that as a team. Yeah, right. So thank you for sticking until the end and I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you've learned something and yeah, keep watching my videos. There's loads and loads of topics that I have taught so far and others that are coming up soon. If you want any specific topic, please write in the comments and I'm more than happy to do it. I'm always looking for ideas or any other thing you would like me to teach you. But it has to be math related as long as it involves some sort of calculations. Okay, thank you. Bye for now and see you in the next videos. And don't forget to subscribe.